Hello YouTube, it's Techmaster here, and today we are going to be playing a new game to my channel. Um, we're going to be playing Total War Rome 2, uh, the Emperor Edition. Um, so, we have all these tabs over here. I've played a little bit of this game. By a little, I mean like over an, a day or something like that. Um, so... We are going to start out a thing. Now, you can have all these different places, cultures, and different factions that are in each of these. Um, I don't know if there's more to unlock or not, or whatever. Um, I have not actually finished the game. I have started many different games just to try and see stuff. So, we're going to go and we're going to obviously because it's Rome 2 Total War we're gonna be playing as Rome for this and House of Julia um, House of Cornelia Junia let's go for House of Junia no not on hard on normal because we're a normal sort of person um, I'll probably skip through most of the loading times, so. You are at war with the Etruscan League. March north and capture their territories. This will allow you to consolidate Italia and ensure the safety of Roma. You must wage war if you hope to extend your dominion. Syracuse and Carthage own territory in Magna Graecia. So conflict with them is inevitable if you wish to expand across the Mediterranean. Otherwise, they may prove useful allies against Etruria or the Gaulish tribes to the north. Come what may, Rome will triumph. Okay, so now that we've seen our basic standpoint of our faction and our... Um, continent, country, whatever, and where we stand, we get this first objective, completely control two provinces, either by direct ownership or through client state and military allies, okay, we can do that, so let's check out the win conditions real quick, uh, 90 settlements, I currently have four, um, six provinces, Italia, Mani Magna Gracia, whatever, however you say that. And Tequina. Wow, that's really far off. Interesting. Holy crap, those are really far off places. Uh, Armenia, Africa, which is down here, and Britannia. Britannia is up. Jesus Christ. Okay then. Looks like we've got a long haul for, in for us. Uh, let's check out our guys. Uh, this is what we have for our main guys. Does this cost any money? No, it does not. Let's instantly secure promotion. Um, Ready for battle. So first we have we have this troop of guys. So Eligo one Italica. I don't know. It sounds like Latin. We hunger and for here is Lego to Antalica. I don't know. And Your then orders. classic or er, classic uh, one Meniza. And Your then we have our spy Pontuma Scopula. Interesting. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is I think we're gonna have our spy come right I'm up really here because we are at war with these people okay so what do they have they have three troops um do we want to storm in their first turn probably could how may i say what's their how many are they gonna spawn We're gonna spawn six hmm sort of like my odds on that but Let's real quick upgrade Roma. Um, 
we don't actually have the option for food. That's one of the things that I like doing first most of the time. Um, then let's make sure we get some public order in there. So, um, have this guy. Let's put you on double time for now. Come up, see who these people are. Because we know most of the people down around here. Okay. <laughs> this should be fun. Um, Ready for battle. Let's see your throw those there. guys in there. Yeah, why are they not liking me? Let's see. Um, cultural differences. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, then we should go into... Yeah, that Upgrade you and grab that as well because this gives it's over in this corner right here. Um, it gives two public order per turn and then two Latin cultural influence. So it'll start bringing this 50%, which I can show better here. So Latin, we have 50%. Hellenic we have 30% and Punic 20% and the Hellenic are currently going up. So apparently we have people coming into the city. Um, now I would like to say I am using some mods. I am using this better tactical map mod or whatever. I, I don't remember the name of it. But I'll have a link in the description to find all of the mods that I'm using. I'm using this one. I'm using, um, it's like TTT something. And it stands for Traits, uh, Traditions, and uh, something else. Uh, skills, I'm going to guess. Skills, Traits, Traditions, TTS, something like that. But it basically adds in more um, different types of uh, these cards. So, plus five experience rate gain for all units, um, and growth return, and public order. So, it, it just adds a little more into the game, I believe. And then we also have the Four Seasons mod, which, um, or Four Turns Per Year mod, which, uh, actually allows, um, what's it called? Like, your generals and stuff live longer. They don't, r they won't, like, up and die really quickly, like most, they do most of the time. So let's go and start researching some military um, taxes. I'm getting plenty of. Who am I around? Who likes me? Who likes me? Not very many. Syracuse, I have a trade agreement with you. Be welcome. Let's go for but may Athena strike us. The gods of Olympus um, rejoice when men show such good sense. No, we like have an accord here. You don't like me that much. Okay. Um, Sparta. Veneti. Athens. I could try and... Um... Be welcome here, and speak mm. as you wish, without fear of consequence or danger. Um, yeah, they're not gonna buy it. Oh yeah, they don't really like me that much. <laughs> um, minus 14. Yeah. So, pretty much around here, I'm not liked very much. Which... I don't know if it was completely accurate, but Rome wasn't always the favorite for people. Um, okay. So, as we start recruiting, let's get some of the Rorari. Um, those will be some of our frontline bolstermen. 
And let's start upgrading this army as well. Um, Come, fight for Rome. We can get rid of that and grab another one of these guys. Okay. Um, a explored plenty. Um, what do you wish of me? Let's see if we can't screw these guys over Senator. already. An excellent choice. Because if we can poison them, ah, damn it. I apologize for Yeah, failure. if we could have poisoned them, that would have been. I would have actually then gone and canceled all these and just taken that army out because it would have just been a lot easier um I can still upgrade things or do I want to save my money um well this area the two places that I have both have a hundred percent Greek um Yeah, let's let's upgrade our olive oil. So they're building stuff. They're building stuff, and this city is building stuff. You not doing so much, but this entire region is still getting minus two. Okay, so now what we get to do is end the turn and see what other people have been doing. So one of the things um, with this uh, let's play, I'm going to be recording in large bulks, I'm going to say. So I'll just cut it out at different spots when I feel like it's a good spot to cut out and stuff. So uh, you may not, it may not seem like I'm actually saying hello every video or stuff like that. That's because I'm obviously recording in bulk. So, okay, so they backed off. I wonder if they're gonna go up and try and take one of the upper settlements. Because they didn't. Or if they just knew that I was coming in next turn. That's pretty much what I was planning, so. Um, one thing I will promise for pretty much every episode, I will be fighting at least one battle. So, if there's an episode that runs an hour long because I decided not to fight any battles, uh, then <laughs> there's an episode that's an hour long. So, uh, our agent has been discovered. Who declared war? Syracuse on Carthage. That's standard one, I believe. Um, quartermaster's report. Good, 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 good. Okay, so we're going to close out of this. And so they have six. Commander. And we're gonna go... Actually, first let's how can I be try and poison the well. We see how well that works out. Ah, they're there. Okay, they weren't trying to go. Aww. Just a wound. That's not fun. Um, Ready for just a flesh wound. We take this settlement for Rome. Okay, so we're we could auto resolve and get it fairly easily, but like I said, I'm going to be fighting. So let's take our first battle. So. We outnumber them, which is to be expected because they're not as big as Rome is. And I've already done some up or recruiting and stuff, so it shouldn't be too hard to take these guys over because this is just a garrison army and their other army only has three fleets. Or three, um groups, tribes, not tribes, um, whatever they're called, I can't remember what each one of these are, 
So, fighting on this map. Um, I see this area right here. I feel like that'd be a good position to come in through. Funnel some guys down there. Have funnel these guys. Or, no, I'd want my pikemen. Funnel my pikemen down through this area and have these guys bringing up the rear while these guys come in and flank around back behind. So, uh, dry, yeah, let's do this. Okay, so where is that area that I was talking about? It's up here. Okay, where do I. S I don't see their people yet. Okay. Um, I have to start back here. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna group these guys together, and they're gonna be one. You guys are gonna be two, three. Come on. Four. There we go. Um, so... Like I said, what I want to do is have these guys right here with these guys following up behind while these guys are going to come in. Where would the best rep be? Probably back here too. Okay. These guys will come in over here with, uh, with these guys leading, I'm going to say. And my army, my general, it's actually, I'm going to change that over here. Um, I want these guys in back and these guys in front. Ready and waiting. Uh, Melee infantry ready. There. So, we have them surrounded by two sides. I have no clue where their other army is coming from, but they shouldn't have too many in the actual walls. So let's start this thing and see where they're at. Okay, so they're actually guarding point. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Okay, they're coming from back there. Do not consider anything other than how you will celebrate victory. So what I want you to do, because you can be seen, I want you to come up here, and go there, okay, yes I know there, um, you can start At the devil. Double time. Service to Rome. Okay, um, yeah, let's not have you get worn out. Uh, let's go s take a look at these guys. They're three units. So they got levy skirmishers. They've got Italian spearmen. And they've got the noble that's a general. Okay. We're just gonna take our time with this, cause it shouldn't be too hard. Uh, where's your line? Your line's up there. Okay, if we can break that. Two mobs. Missiles awaiting target. Brave Romans to a man. In service to Rome! Okay. I can no longer see those guys, so that's actually gonna be a problem. Might have to pick At up speed. Ooh. Romans all. Attack. By your command. Advance! how many of these guys we can get. We haven't killed one yet. Come on. Oh, there goes one. Um, then what I want to do with these guys is to a man. 
Commander. We're a little good. They're breaking. I don't. What am I doing with these guys? No! Yeah, I was gonna say. actual way for me to get up there from that way I'm just smart. Good, their troops are wavering. One of our units has used all its ammunition. units has used all its ammunition. Units has used all its ammunition. Ooh. Our general is under attack. Yes. Nice. 
That's what I want to hear. Okay. After these guys are dead. Victorious! <laughs> Absolutely annihilated their garrison. Um, so yeah, we <laughs> we lost forty-seven men, in which what? 14 of that was to friendly fire. Yeah. <laughs> I think we did pretty good. And we killed all but 40 of them. <laughs> so. Yeah. It's, um. Quite a loss for them. Their unit. Both units should be destroyed. Or, well. Obviously, the garrison was just, uh, is gonna be under my control now because of the fact that I just conquered their settlement. Um, but their other army should be destroyed. 